draft chat where you drink after every missed pick. So uh, we will do a live NFL draft. That's not going anywhere. Once that draft happens, we'll be live uh, on a variety of channels here at Chat Sports. So fun fact on this one. Uh, I did that one time in a fantasy draft where I drafted for every pick that was stupid by the rest of my league mates. They did not like that. Uh, that did not go over well. So maybe we won't do quite the exact same thing this time around. More super chats coming in. And it's a great way to get on the show. Derek A. McCormick, do you think Michael Gallup will really blow up this year? Guys, he just did. Like, go look at Michael Gallup's stats. He had a fantastic year for the Cowboys. So, like, the Michael Gallup breakout year, it already happened. He's he's broken out as a really great receiver in the NFL. So, now I'm just, you know, looking for him to continue that along. Like, and continue to be the same guy he was last year. Jordan Thomas, I've been doing a lot of mock drafts with trade backs. Jalen Hurts has been available around pick 34. Given the Dak Dak drama, would you pick him? No. Jalen Hurts is not better than Dak Prescott, guys. Jalen Hurts wishes he could be Dak Prescott. I I think there's a path to Hurts being a low-end starting quarterback and a good backup in the NFL. But if, if I'm replacing Dak with a draft pick, I'm not trading back and then taking a quarterback. Jalen, we, we, you guys try and claim, some of you do, that Dak can't read a defense. That's Jalen Hurts. Jalen Hurts struggles with processing. So if you want to explore options at quarterback, if like a Justin Herbert falls to 17 and you're convinced Dak is going to play just one year on the tag, I can at least entertain that discussion. But that, But Jalen Hurts is not better than Dak Prescott. He's simply not. We were too low on Dak coming out. If you replace Dak Prescott with Jalen Hurts, you just got worse as a at the quarterback spot and, more importantly, as a pure thrower. Dak's better. So I'm not really interested in that path. From Heath Samples. Hey, Tom, just grab here. Thank you for subbing, Heath. I appreciate that. Can you rate our needs given the recent defensive tackle free agency signings? Uh, CB1, edge, wide receiver, safety, interior, O-line, O-tackle, et cetera. Um, I think defensive end, edge is number one right now because of the uncertainty at the uh, uh, at the edge spot with, with, with you know Quinn gone and who knows about Randy Gregory. You know, I, I, I say... Defensive tackle corner are both still kind of up there right now. Um, I think I might lean towards corner because I, I need a CB1 right now. Then I'm looking at receiver because uh, I, need, I need a wide receiver three and 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 slot. Then I'd say probably safety because Clinton Dixon Woods are on short-term deals. And then interior offensive line. And then it kind of becomes the rest of the list there with tackles probably in there as well. But that's how I, I rate the needs right now for the Cowboys. We'll do a draft needs video with a more in-depth description there as well. Got a deal for you guys here. 25% off Cowboys jersey. That's chatsports.com slash Cowboys jersey. Use promo code SPROUT. That's S-P-R-O-U-T. I know it's a weird promo code, but it's the one they send. I guess that's something to do with spring. Either way, Jerseys are on sale for about, I think it's about 40 hours right now. So use that promo code at chatsports.com slash Cowboys Jersey. That link, that promo code also applies to custom jerseys. So you can get one with your name on the back. It's chatsports.com slash Cowboys Jersey. That link's in the comments and the description as well. All right, Deshaun Kennedy do you think the big C will impact the season? I mean, I think that it's already impacting it, right? Like you, you've pushed back the start of OTA. So the big C meaning, you know, the disease that YouTube doesn't like us to say that we're all being forced to work from home from right now as a result. Yeah, there's already an impact. And I hope we get back to normal before it starts to impact like the actual games, like which, you know, just from a pure planning perspective in terms of preseason all that and training camp kind of got to get going here a little bit so let us know are you guys working from home who's working from home type h for yes that's what we're doing right now got the uh 
the headset on right now. I got the lighting rig set up. So I got the green screen behind me. So we're making it work as best as possible. Again, apologies if there's some brief audio cut ups, but we're doing the absolute best that we can. And type N if you are not. So for example, I am, I am operating from home right now. My wife is not, she is a zookeeper. So someone has to go feed the animals. She's quite literally essential. So if you are able to work from home, I assume you are. If you're not, well, I hope you're essential and not being reckless. All right, Ethan Tyra says, Blake Bell, Taysom Hill who? Lamar Jackson who? I, I appreciate that joke there, Ethan. For those of you that don't know, the Belldozer package. Oklahoma used him as kind of a quarterback early on in his career and then eventually moved to tight end because, well, he wasn't a great thrower of the football. He just wasn't a quarterback. I don't think you'll see any Belldozer packages in the NFL for Blake Bell with the Cowboys. I think in reality, he's just going to be a backup tight end for Dallas. But I appreciate that, that Super Chat, Ethan. Again, two ways to get on the show. Use hashtag Cowboys or... Super chat. Two great ways there. Adam Burke. Uh, any bargain bin cornerback free agents the Cowboys should look at? Not really. Like, you've got options. Like, you have Chido Bayouzier. You have Jordan Lewis. You have Maurice Canada. You have Anthony Brown. Those guys can be your threes and your fours, and maybe one of them can be your two. I need a number one. I don't have those guys available in free agency. I don't have those guys. Robert Moore, take a chill pill, okay? We're doing this live for you guys. Everyone relax. I apologize if I have internet connection issues or if the audio cuts out. You're the only one complaining, Robert. I'm sorry. But at cornerback, I need I need a number one. I need a number one guy. I don't want Cheeto as my number one. I want him as my number two and Lewis and Brown battling for three and four and Canada coming off the bench as well. Like, that's what I need. So I'm not going to find those guys in free agency. The options out there, Jordan Thomas mentioned Brandon Carr. Like, that's not going to get the job done. Those guys are not number one options. I need that guy. And I think the draft might be the route to go. Maybe in round one, CJ Henderson, just a thought. So we can grade the setup here. I, I know it is not what you guys are accustomed to. It's not quite as great as it normally is in office or in, in the normal office here. So grade it for me, one to 10. Look, we're doing the best we can. We're, we're still working on upgrading audio, internet and all of that. So if stuff lags out, if, if things if things get a little, a little uh, janky there, I apologize. We're doing the best we can. The videos will continue to come. Frankly, I still think it's a better setup than some of the other YouTube channels out there. But hey, we're doing the best we can. Things are just not quite normal right now around the country. So we're trying our best here. A super chat coming in from Bijan, uh, or Bijan Manzuri. Why don't we trade for Casey Hayward for a third? Because the Chargers aren't going to do that. He's still their best. I would love to get Casey Hayward on this team. I just don't see any scenario in which LA goes, hmm, we're trying to compete right now. That's why we signed uh, Chris Harris to be our, our number two corner, an upgrade there. I just don't see the Chargers doing that in the end. There was another super chat, by the way, for Bijan uh, Manzuri. Can we sign Dontrell Inman for the vet Nin? I mean, they can. I don't really know what Dontrell Inman does for you at this point in, in, in his career. I don't think he's that good anymore. Not that he was ever that great. Um, frankly, I would rather have Des Bryant than Dontrell Inman. There you go, Des fans. I offered praise for Des. I, I, I think that's. I think. I think that makes you guys happy. Um, I'd rather focus on the draft side of it. I, I think that's a better path to go for the Cowboys. You can find a really good setup with the with the with in terms of the draft. You can find someone. I see someone mentioning Jalen Rager. I don't know if I want to trade up for him, but I might just wait and see if he's there in round two. It's possible. I see a question on Logan Ryan. Logan Ryan's not a number one corner. I got guys that play that role. Jordan Thomas, Xavier Rhodes, he's washed up. There you go. Now, I, I know we didn't get to any all your questions, so I, I apologize for that. So we'll do that in a second. But first reminder, type FO to join the Fatties Only 2020 campaign. We got a whole bunch of them, guys. We got Dontari Poe. 
Gerald McCoy fits that role. So type F-O in the comment section if you want to join the Fatties Only campaign in 2020. Now, I know we did not get to every question. There were a lot that we missed. I appreciate Adam's joke question about getting Uncle Rico. Fantastic arm right there. You can throw it over them there. Mountains. So if we did not get to your question, hit me up on Twitter at what's going down. You can either DM me. My DMs are open. Please do not abuse that. I get weird DMs sometimes. Or just tweet me at what going downy. I'll respond to those. I'm behind on a bunch of others. So if I haven't responded, I will get to that soon. But if you have questions that we didn't get to, hit me up on Twitter at what going downy. And if you missed the news around Dontari Poe and Blake Bell, it's all coming up right now on Loop. Hey, Cowboys fans. Thanks for watching the Cowboys Report. If you haven't already, click right here to subscribe to our channel for all the best Cowboys coverage on the Internet. That's news, rumors, highlights, mailbags, film studies, and a whole lot more. And I'm making your lives a little bit easier as well with the next Cowboys Report video right here.